G'day, this is Russell Cameron from Dagu. I want to demonstrate the difference between machine home, tool home and job home using the Easy CNC controller. Uh, the machine home, which I'll demonstrate first, is set by the position of the home limit switches. So with this four axis machine here, I'm going to tell it to go to the home position and the first thing it does is raise the tool rotate the fourth axis back to its home position and then X and Y go back to their home positions. It raises the tool first to prevent um, any accidental damage to the machine. Now I'm going to uh, demonstrate tool home position. Sometimes the current home position there is not very convenient for changing tools. It would be much easier to change a tool if the um, cutting tool came to the front. So now we're going to set that up what we're going to do is we're going to just change this to jog XY. We're going to bring the machine forward. We don't have to set the Z position here, just the X and Y positions. Okay, maybe across a little bit, doesn't matter. Okay, and that is going to be my, let's see, uh, across a bit more. Okay, that's going to be my tool test and um, change position. So now I want to save that. What I do is go to press the home button, or the run button until we get to home machine. Uh, what's that one? Save offset. Okay, at the moment set to tool offset, which is what we want. So we're going to press save. Now the machine is counting the steps as it returns back to the machine home position. This means that next time I press um, tool home, or next time the machine needs to do a tool change or measure the tool, it will go back to that position. Okay, now we're going to set up a, a job home position. This will depend a lot on what the stock is, uh, what CAM software you're using, but for the moment uh, I'm just using a, you can see a small black spot on the stock there. We're going to set that up as the start position for a four axis job. So what we'll do, we go back to Oops. Jog XY. We're going to bring it forwards again. Oop, gone too far. Again, bring it across. Okay, go back a little bit, it's too far forward. Uh, go here, I'm now going to jog V and Z, so I can go down. And I can rotate it. Now, to get that perfect, it's going to be difficult using just the jog buttons, so we'll actually turn it by hand. went too far. Go back a bit. Turn it down until it's just touching. Okay, that's going to be my um, start position for the job. So now I want to go here. Job VZ. So now I'm going to change it from tool offset to job offset. Okay. Now the tool raises up. It rotates back to home. X and Y go back to their home positions. Oh God, that sounds painful. And 
each step, each uh, axis of travels, it's counting the steps, so I can save the position into memory. So now we're going to test that. To test it, or we can go back to here, just uh, go to instead of saving offset, we're going to go to restore offset, restore the job offset. Okay. Now, the fourth axis is rotated, so the spot's at the top. And this is what the machine would do at the start of the job. When you start a four axis job, the first thing it's going to do is go to this um, start position. Well, it doesn't have to be a four axis job, even a three axis job. It's still going to go to whatever position you tell it. If you're not using the fourth axis, you can just disable it. There you go. Okay, so that's how you set up uh, tool, uh, position, uh, tool home job home and the um, and how it compares to the CNC machine home. I'll just return it back to the home position now. So off it goes back to the machine home position. And that's all there is to it. Have fun and enjoy.